So if you've gotten an air fryer, but you're not sure what to cook in it, well keep watching because I've got 10 easy air fryer recipes that my family's been cooking up this past week to share with you. Hello, welcome to the Fabulously Frugal YouTube channel. My name is Kathy and I'm here sharing all things air fryer and Instant Pot with you. Now my family's been using our air fryer for most of 2020 and I just gotta say that we use it enough that it's become a permanent fixture on my kitchen counter. It simply cooks food faster than my oven and everything bakes out nice, evenly, and crispy. Yay! So today I have a mix of air fryer recipes that work fantastic for dinner or breakfast and stay tuned to the end because I have two quick and easy air fryer desserts. One of them is three ingredient air fryer cinnamon rolls made from scratch. Yes, that's right. And if you're unsure how to use the air fryer, be sure to watch my air fryer 101 video. I have it linked down below in the description. You ready to see these air fryer recipes? Let's go. We are making some frozen chicken wings in the air fryer. Yes, frozen. So I just have this big old bag from Costco. And you know what, you guys, I just eyeball it and dumped a bunch in there. It's okay here in the beginning if it's crammed with your frozen chicken wings because they're gonna shrink as they cook. And I'm not even gonna spray them because they're full of fat. So this first set, we're gonna do 10 minutes at 350 degrees. That is gonna thaw out the wings. Now you can see they are all thawed out and I'm gonna just place them in the basket here a little bit better. And I'm gonna season just with pepper and some garlic salt. I don't have a measurement for you guys, just, you know, wing it, do whatever looks good to you. I flipped them and put the seasoning on both sides. Everybody's got pepper and garlic salt though, right? Now here in the bottom of the basket is all that water and juices from thawing out the chicken wings. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump that out and get these babies cooking. So we're gonna bump it up now to 380 degrees and cook them for 25 minutes. Here it is about the halfway point. They are sizzling already. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip those around just so they can crisp up on all sides evenly. Let that finish cooking. They are pretty much cooked. I like to give them one more spin and now I just throw on my homemade Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I have a link to that down in the description below. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you like, but I love this homemade stuff. And then just turn up your air fryer. Mine goes all the way up to 400 and just cook it for five more minutes. And you can see, look at that. They are caramelized and beautiful. My teenage boys devoured these in minutes. They are so good and so incredibly easy, you guys. First, a little money saving tip. I like to buy a big old pork loin and then just slice it up into pork chops. You can do it however thick you like. I'm doing about an inch and I'm gonna be able to fit about three in my air fryer. So first pat those dry, then massage about a teaspoon of oil on your pork chops. This is just gonna help your spices stick on and then just put on some ranch seasoning mix. I'm doing about a teaspoon on each side then place it right in your air fryer. You don't even need to spray it because you already have the oil on there and cook it at 380 for 10 minutes. Now at the halfway point, I like to take a peek, flip them around and let it finish cooking. After 10 minutes, be sure to check the temperature, make sure it's cooked up to 145. If not, throw it in for another minute or two. And then when it's done, just place it in some foil, let it rest, and then enjoy. That is the easiest dinner ever. French bread pizza. Just grab a loaf of French bread. You're gonna cut it in half and in half again. So you have four pizza bases. And then I like to use a plate and just squish them down. Just helps them get a little bit crispy. Then we brushed some melted butter on them. And I just decided to sprinkle on some garlic salt and onion powder. And you're just gonna toast them up in your air fryer at 350 for three to five minutes, depending on how crunchy you like them. You'll have to work in batches here. And then you're just gonna dress up your pizzas however you like. We're using pizza sauce and some mozzarella cheese. I thought I had pepperoni, but turns out it was moldy. So we're just having cheese today. These are fun because everyone can just dress up their pizza however they want. And just pop it in at 350 degrees for four minutes and bam, there's your nice yummy French bread pizza. 
Tonight we're having chicken parmesan. I've just got some flour, mixed up egg, and then I've got about a half cup to a cup of panko breadcrumbs and some fresh parmesan cheese. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder and whisk that up. And then I decided I wanted some Italian seasoning in there too. Now you can use chicken breast for this. I'm using chicken tenders. No matter what you do, you do want them slightly thinner. I like to use my meat pounder right here and I found to pound it in between the parchment paper makes it a lot less messy. Then just sprinkle on some salt and pepper. Be sure to grab that on both sides and then spray your basket. And here's your little assembly line. First flour up your chicken, drop it in the egg wash, drop it in your cheese mixture and place it in your air fryer. I could get four chicken tenders in my air fryer and then just spritz the top, pop it in the air fryer. I'm doing 350 for eight minutes and halfway through, flip them, spray the tops and let it finish cooking. Now you'll see it's just about to 165. And here's a tip if you wanna keep things a little cleaner, there is some parchment paper with little holes in it that will allow the circulation but keep the bottom of your pan clean. Sometimes I use it. Go ahead and put on some spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce. And then I happen to have some mozzarella cheese slices. Usually I just do shredded mozzarella, which is a little messier. Then you're gonna just pop that in your air fryer, crank it up to 380 and cook it for two to three minutes minutes more and that's just gonna melt the cheese. Such a quick and easy dinner idea. I've got about four potatoes here. You can use russet or Yukon gold is even better. Slice it crosswise and chop it up into a little bite-sized chunks. You don't have to be too fancy here. Then set that aside. You'll see I have about four cups and while I make my seasoning, I soak it in cold water. That'll keep it from going brown and get some of that starch off. Next, I have two teaspoons of melted butter and I'm adding a half teaspoon of dried thyme and then about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, just under a half teaspoon of salt. And you just mix that up, then drain your potatoes and pour them back into your bowl and pour that buttery seasoning right over the potatoes and stir it up. It's so easy, you guys. Dump that into your air fryer. You do not need to spray it. Make sure you level it out and then we're gonna bake it at 380 for 20 minutes. At the halfway point, go ahead and give it a good shake. Let it finish baking. These smell so good. And there it is. Now you could eat these as is, but I have one extra step that makes these so delicious. You'll need a glass dish or any other baking dish that will fit in your air fryer. Pour your potatoes in there and then you're gonna pour in about three quarters cup of chicken broth right over the potatoes and then a half teaspoon of minced garlic and just give it a stir. And I tell you what, it's just magical what happens next. Carefully place it in your air fryer. Your air fryer is still hot and then you're gonna bake it at 380 for eight to 10 more minutes, just depending on how big your little potato chunks are. And look at that, they are perfectly roasted. They're crispy on the outside and soft and yummy on the inside, and these go quick. I'd say it serves about three people. Carefully lift your pan out of the air fryer, and they're so good at dinner time or at breakfast. Cooking bacon in the air fryer, so easy. Depending on your air fryer size, you might need to chop your bacon in half. And here is a trick. Some air fryers are gonna smoke super bad because of all the fat in the bacon. So you could either put a little water in the base of your air fryer or a couple slices of bread. Bump it up to 350 for 10 minutes and it cooks it perfectly. Check out the bottom of the tray. Having the water in there not only keeps it from smoking, but it also makes cleanup really easy. So sometimes for breakfast, I like to mix it up, add a little variety, and so we're gonna do baked eggs. First, you wanna spray your ramekins with some oil, and then I just crack an egg in, pour a little milk, today I have half and half, salt and pepper, and then this is the fun part, is you can totally customize. So we had some potatoes left over from the night before. Here's some of that yummy bacon. I love to add chopped spinach in mine, and just give it a quick little mix, and then you just pop it in at 350 for 15 minutes. And then I just peek on it twice throughout the cooking time and give it a little mix up and there you go it's just a breakfast egg bake totally customized and just a fun different way to eat breakfast so we had some extra apples given to us by a friend and I cut up about one and a half fairly large apples I didn't even bother to peel them 
I just cubed a few up, there's my little helper, and melted about two tablespoons of butter, and then just toss in some brown sugar and cinnamon and give it a nice stir. I've got another helper here, and plop those right into your air fryer pan. I baked these at 350 for six minutes, and we gave it a little stir, and we popped it in for two more minutes just to get it a little bit more tender. And you can see they were just sizzling and delicious. Such a fun, quick little side or treat, depending on how you look at it. Those are some delicious baked cinnamon apples. Now you can see here, I had some drippings from those apples and I decided, what the heck? I'm gonna make some two ingredient donut holes because they're so easy. You can see my original two ingredient donut recipe down in the description below. All you need is three fourths cup of Greek yogurt and a cup of self rising flour. You do get a smidge dirty here, but just roll out the dough. I love to use my cutting board because it contains the mess. And I just made some cute little donut holes. Then I grabbed those drippings and rolled it around in it. And for my other donuts, I just put them in some coconut oil. So just cook them at 350 for seven to 10 minutes. You can see they are baking nicely, but definitely need more time. And that's kind of what you do with an air fryer. You just peek in on things, see what you think, and adjust the time, it's so easy. And here we are after the seven minutes. Since these are a little bit larger donut holes, I'm gonna just give it a couple more minutes at 350. Let's see how it does. Definitely nice and toasty. What was really fun about these donuts is how crispy and caramelized the outside got from the donuts that I rolled around in my apple drippings. That sounds so gross, right? Anyway, just so fun to use the air fryer and see what different things you can do with it. It was a fun, tasty treat for the fam on our game night. Last but not least, are you ready for three ingredient cinnamon rolls? Yes, that's right. They are not made from a can. I love to pull out my scale to measure this. It's 140 grams of self-rising flour, which is the same as one cup. I have a substitute for that down in the description below. And then you need a quarter cup plus a half tablespoon of milk or a 70 grams of milk, and then three tablespoons of melted butter and then just give that a stir. You will need to get your hands a little dirty, but this is not really sticky dough. It's nice and smooth and soft. Set that aside and now you're gonna make your filling for the cinnamon rolls. It's two tablespoons of melted butter, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and then a half tablespoon of cinnamon and a half tablespoon of cornstarch. And you could throw a little salt in there if you want to. Then just roll out your dough. Now I got this recipe from Emma's Goodies. I will link to that down below, but just spread out your cinnamon roll filling and then roll up your dough. These are gonna be cute little mini cinnamon rolls. You can use floss or I just use a serrated knife and make these rolls about an inch thick. Then just squish down your cinnamon rolls. It's gonna help them stay together, get them all ready to go, and then spray your basket and plop those rolls in there. You can see I got a cute little extra one in there. And I am gonna pop these in the air fryer at 350 for six minutes. Now here they are at the three minute mark. Definitely not quite done, but getting close. I feel like I maybe should have just done five minutes it's one of those things, all air fryers are slightly different. So keep an eye on them. Here it is after six minutes, ooey, gooey, yum yum. Then I just quickly threw together an icing, a powdered sugar, some milk, some butter, and a splash of vanilla. I had it a little bit too runny. I probably could have used more butter or powdered sugar, but hey, you know what? No one complained. Everybody was a fan of these mini cinnamon rolls. Heck yeah, they're so easy and fun to make. And yes, that's what we've been eating this past week. Hey, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. I do my best to answer every single one of them. If you want more air fry recipes, I got dinners and desserts right there. And I think you'll like this one as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.